Hi, this is Nadia Montenegro. <laughs> Hi, it's me again, and now we're here to cook another dish. Kung napapansin nyo, medyo marami ako mga classic dishes kasi yun na nga, um, sa history, itong mga dish na mga kinakain ko nung, nung dito pa daddy ko, abuelita ko. So, we were always served dishes na more on Spanish uh, to scenes and uh, yun, adapt ko. And uh, medyo nilagyan ko rin ng mga iba-ibang twist din para lang magustuhan ng mga bata. Kasi marami din mga dishes na hirap ipakain sa mga bata. So, we will start. This is our arroz a la cubana. So, we start with our cooking oil. Yeah. Well, they call it arroz a la cubana because when you present it on a plate, usually they put rice and then they put the ground beef on the side, fried eggs, with fried bananas. Yun talaga. So, another all-in-one meal. Eh, pasensya na. Lahat talaga ng mga niluluto namin. Madalas, all-in-one na. Para isang ulam na lang. <laughs> okay? Our garlic. Our onions. Kaya ako sinasabay yung onions sa garlic kasi gusto gusto ko yung garlic na hindi masyadong tostado. Yun. Medyo... Translucent na siya. Then, this is when you add agad the ground beef. So, this will take a while. Make sure na dudurugin nyo kaagad kasi pag naluto ang ground beef, buo-buo, lalabas. Hindi siya magpapantay-pantay. Is there anything you don't Oh, yeah. Uh, maniwala man kayo, hindi pa ako nakakatikim ng balot. <laughs> hindi ba ako kumakain ng balot? Hindi ko kaya. <laughs> Wala pa ibang rason, hindi ko lang siya kaya. I haven't eaten frogs. Uh, hindi rin ako makain ng dinuguan. I've never tasted it. Hindi ko rin kaya. Although my, my abuelita used to cook that a lot because my dad was a carnivore eater and daddy ko. Talagang gusto niya lahat yung mga ganyan bloody, yung mga liver, mga kidneys. Hindi ko kaya. Ito, kailangan siguraduhin mo talagang lutong-luto ang giniling kasi hindi maganda pag hindi. Uh, you can put oregano. I, I, I decide to uh, use oregano in exchange of bay leaf para more on the Spanish-Italian side. But if you want naman uh, bay leaf, laurel, it's fine. No problem. Para lang ano, kasi sometimes di ba meat has this not so good smell. So if you feel na parang you don't want to taste that, lalagay mo ng konti para lang. Actually, any dried spice is good. Basil, pero basil is more for pasta, so matitikman mo medyo magiging Italian. Oregano is on the safe side. Yun ang parang um, kapatid ng bay leaf. So, oh yeah! Hard to feed is number seven. Isha. Si Isha kasi, yun yung daddy's girl. So, si daddy's girl, super spoiled, sinusundo sa school araw-araw, at tinadala sa gusto niya, which is all fast food. So, kinalakihan niya fast food. At ang kinakain lang niya is sinigang, adobo, tingola, basic. Hindi talaga, kahit bayaran mo siya para tikman ang isang dish, hindi niya gagawin. Okay. Yan, medyo luto na siya. You know naman kasi iba na rin yung kulay ng oil. Then, you put the carrots kasi tilaw pa. Not like the green peas. Ang green peas kasi canned or um, frozen. Make sure you cut the carrots uh, almost the same size as the peas para ano lang, uniform, maganda tignan. Remember, always think, bago ka magluto, always think kung ano yung, yung final product mo. Just like pag nagme-makeup ka, syempre. What is yeah. the happiest memory you Like what I said, di ba? I cook with my heart. So, ito yung mga dishes na hindi ko na kailangan 
pang pag-aralan kasi alam mo na yung pag sinabi, ay ito na lang, yun agad-agad maluluto mo na. So from this memories of this of course, syempre my parents, my 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 you know, Christmas, my abuelita was already passed. Talagang Spanish dishes talaga ang when it's Spanish dishes that ang childhood, childhood na naalala ko. Marami pa, marami pa, meron pa tayong mga Tata kong lenteya si chorizo. Pat- ang dami, ang dami ko pang dishes nung, um, na natutunan ko sa lola at sa daddy ko. At sa mami ko, siyempre. Who was the boss in the My abuelita. <laughs> my abuelita, my, my dad's mom. Because she was really the cook. I mean, she would be up at 4 o'clock, made sure all our clothes were were all ironed na. We had terno socks, terno shoes, terno ribbons. So we always had Spanish dresses na ready. So for breakfast, chapter we were going to school, no? And dad would go to the office. Kailangan naka nakaano na kaagad, naka ready na yung breakfast. And then dinner time was always syempre a celebration like what I said kasi kailangan pag dinner sama-sama lahat at nakabihis na parang akala mo araw-araw may kasal. Even our yayas were all dressed like ano Talaga may mga apron, may mga headpads. Terno din sila. So, yung purpose ng onions sa uh, um, Onions and garlic kasi, yun nga, parang fragrance. Fragrance talaga, sobrang, you'll know when you're eating something with onions and with garlic, di ba? Kino onion and garlic ng buhay ko? <laughs> onion and garlic ng buhay ko. Ang garlic, kasi lahat kailangan may garlic ang ating, ang aking al, uh, Almighty Father, God. Ang onion, si Boy. Yeah, kasi kahit anong kulay, hilaw man, or luto, meron o wala. Andun pa rin siya. I started 1984. Uh, Regal. Nag-scout sila sa San Agustin. Na-discover nila kami ni Gretchen ng sabay because they wanted to launch a uh, new batch of Regal Babies after sila Dina Bonavis, Nuki, Maricel. So kami yung na-launch ng Regal Babies 2. Janice de Belen. So now, um, with this one, uh, I already pre-cooked my fried egg and my fried bananas. Okay. Usually this is served with rice, no? Pero I'll put it on a bigger, ano, family style. Uh, ito, medyo mas mura-mura ito. Um, ang ating ground beef na sa mga 220, 240. Again, depends ko sa mabili nila eh. Ang ating tomato sauce na sa 80 pesos. And then we have our saba. And then yung mga sahog-sahog siguro. Um, again, nasa 400 to 500. Good for 10 pa rin to. Okay. Ang daddy ko at ang mami ko, nagagalit yun pag hindi siya nakaserve ng tama. Ganyan ang pag-serve niyan. Our arroz a la cubana. Alright, tapos na naman tayo. Nakaisa na naman tayong dish, ang arroz a la cubana. I suggest you try this and uh, I'm sure magugustuhan ninyo. Palagyan nyo lang ng rice, top nyo lang. Kailangan may egg at kailangan may banana. Sobrang practical nito kasi konting ulam lang, konting kanin, pero complete dish with egg and bananas. And, uh, Pagka sakaling nagawa na ninyo, send us photos and, and if your suggestions or comments, kung masarap, kung meron kayong ituturo sa akin na idadagdag, uh, padala lang kayo. Thank you and don't forget to cook with your heart. Beautiful assistants today. Hi! 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 Hi!
Ano pa rin, nag-aral ka rin. Bakit ako pa rin nagluluto sa bahay? Please subscribe.